actually I'm extremely short sighted, so normally I never do a PowerPoint or write notes because it makes me look very silly. But the subject was to me seemed so important that I've done both this time. And the nice thing about being short sighted is when Monica lifts her hand, I won't be able to see it. <laughs> Okay, so I've chosen a line which all of us are very familiar with and like, No Woman, No Cry. A line from Mali's famous song, Why? Please, woman, don't cry. We will help. It can be interpreted like that. Women shouldn't be crying at all. It's high time we did something. It could be interpreted like that. Women, don't fry. Get up and fight. It could be interpreted and it should be interpreted like that. And last, the most cynical, if there are no women at all, there will be no need to cry. Right? Having said this, let me, you know, when we, I was brought up in North India and we had this very cute do loop which I'd like to share, share with you. Mummy, rail aegi kab. Beta, char baje ka tab. Mummy, four baje ka kab? Beta, single girega tab. Mummy, single girega kab? Beta, rail aega tab. Arey, we can go on and on. Mummy, rail aega tab. Beta, four baje ka tab. So it's the same old thing. I go from forums to forums, and we're all saying, oh, the statistics are like this, and the women are in such a bad state in our country. Cry, everybody's crying. All of us feel it, men and women alike. The point is. You know, there's no point going around in circles. It's time to break out of the do loop and this is the best forum or this is the best set of people that could do it. So I'm going to speak about things we can do and I am going to oppose many of the things that have been said today. Okay? <coughs> accept that. First of all, let's accept. I hear this, jara skin dikhana padta hai, kya karene, to film bikegi nahi. Skin nahi dekho ge, to cosmetics nahi bikega. I am saying becho hi mat yaar, nahi chahiye. If it's going to result in 10 girls' lives going, let's forget about it. So let's say, let's take, uh, accept, television has a very powerful impact on our lives because it looks so close to real. We ourselves get brainwashed by our own, you know, reality that we create. So it's, we have to be conscious. This is about being conscious. It's less about saying, that, uh, no, no, we are brainwashing people. It's just saying, be conscious of what you're doing. See, the fact is that it's, it covers everything. It covers sitcoms, it covers comedies, it covers soaps, it has reality shows, it has news, it has sports, and it has movies. So it covers the gamut. And it has uh, reinforcement power because the damn thing gets repeated. Dupair ko, raat ko, midnight ko. It, you catch the same thing again and again. So the point of it is, the first thing for us to accept is we are in a medium which has powerful impact. Second, another important medium, in fact, I think an even more insidious and scary medium, accept that the internet, both computer and mobile, fall under the classic confusion, ax confusion axiom. Every tool will soon become a weapon. This is a scary medium from many, uh, for many reasons from porno sites to social media to hunt for prey to violent video games to dirty MMS, uncontrolled, ununderstood, unregulated, and right inside your house. And it's a young medium, so all of us who are digital, uh, not digital natives and digital, shall I say, uh, Jurassics, we don't even know what the five-year-old in the house is actually having access to. So since the focus in many of these uh, media is on depicting images of the woman as a sexual object and one who absorbs poor conduct and the one who absorbs pain. That is going to become the norm. So it's in our hands to decide what we want to do. So you, a guy puts on a deodorant, then all the women come lusting after him. I would like to see one guy whose deodorant turns me on. <laughs> the manner in which they are depicted means they are available. Give me a break, yeah. Woman is fair, she lands a job. What is this? I, I would, I'm so upset by that one thing. I even have a problem with the product. Woman is a mother by day and a pole dancer by night. Oh my God, give me a break. 
as sec sec one section sec one woman's hair is very strong so when a truck is stuck in the middle of t nagar in chennai she appears in skim in skimpy top and skimpy or cutaway jeans and tows the truck so here what is the relevance of that outfit with that damn hair here give me a break so here she is what are we telling our children that okay that clothing is fine because we have a right to express ourselves so you scc a1 girl go in shorts and be ogled by a b c d e f up to z all the guys on the road that's what you're saying with the ad we have to take responsibility for this woman is very sweetly this is an ad which in which my heart broke the woman is very sweetly working out how she is going to tell her husband that she's pregnant what a sweet moment what a great thing to think about the man suddenly appears and she's caught unawares she blurts it out it was a lovely moment but tell me why do we need to see her bra strap in that commercial will somebody tell me about that women in a t women in tv serial constantly crying they're persecuted the tough women are always bad the fact of the matter is 45% of all violence is in the house why don't we show that yaar why don't we address that a woman film star is not a star if she doesn't dare to bear or do the most crass item number so a girl like vidya balan who is talented has to do a dirty picture for this industry the media to say she's good why so she's smart she picked a good subject but she needed to bear yaar so let's be conscious of it buy a small truck and prosper and your sweet middle class wife who's in a sari becomes upper class when you prosper and starts wearing jeans and shorts or jeans and a t-shirt let me give me a break that's a stereotype if i hear one then in the news media speak about a delhi incident in the front page go three pages down chicks to in vague clothing what is your problem here why are you putting both together it's not necessary if you want to show show it in the relevant place it doesn't mean that women should not dress the way they want but has this relevance i've actually seen in the economic times prices go down zip of a woman coming down i want to know when the prices go up will they show the whip, the zip going up i don't think so and as for music when this woman sur gets sharper or if she gets more melodious the clothes will keep falling down but men will wear jeans and t-shirts and be totally surila what is wrong with the women here what are we falling for you know in this the fourth so then we coming to this let's accept that the written word is subconsciously accepted by all of us as gospel so people in the written word the in ad, again ma'am i want to i have something to say to you the newspaper and the tv has much more uh, you know insidious influence than advertisements have most people who look at commercials are all creative directors the average person is a kid say this ad is bad isne kya bola so they know it's an ad so to that ex- extent they they have cut out some of the stuff but it's the news paper the t- television which has content which in which we are more insidiously brainwashed now let's accept this i think geeta referred to that accept that men and women are wired differently there's a difference in estrogen and testosterone so women have to be conscious of it okay it's it's true that we have a right to have, i during this delhi incident there was a girl on television who kept saying i have a right to wear what i want yes you do but be conscious because you might have 10 your husband your boyfriend your whole family your mom everybody there to to you know be like a circle around you and you're not even conscious that actually you are secure girl who's in a lower income group walking on the street vulnerable because of your action you have to be conscious so i believe that here i disagree with many things saying uh, ma'am you were saying i think who was that i can't remember she's left uh, saying that uh, rape happens to children and rape happens to uh, women so it's a it's not got to do with clothing i disagree i think to some degree it gives the person who's doing wrong to justify himself that doesn't make him right but it also means as a lot we have to be conscious about what signals we are giving to the younger generation on how they conduct themselves and how um how they should be you know clothed in different fora i think it's our responsibility <coughs> now accept that india comprises of layers of people in mindsets from different ages we are in bombay we are all from 
one kind of education, one kind of mindset. There are people in other incomes, they come with, that doesn't make them any less. They are also Indians. So we don't have to think that what we are putting into our ads. I wear jeans, so my, the girl in my adverts will wear jeans. It's not that. You have to figure out who the target audience is and it's okay if she's not wearing jeans and it's okay if she's wearing jeans. But be conscious. Let's not think that the world begins and ends with all of us who are doing this. As content creators, we do create perceptions and it comes with responsibilities. Content creation can be done either preying on our weaknesses or it can be done on strengths. Okay? We do have a choice to influence and do the honorable thing. That's what it should be about at all times. So I'm going to say some don'ts and do's, which I believe may work. You may disagree, may not disagree, may not disagree, let's see. Why am I starting with don'ts? Let's not be coconuts. What do I mean by that? White inside and brown outside. I'll give you an example. I went to, I have a grand niece and a grand nephew uh, who study at the cathedral school and I am there like the grandparent in Bombay to those children. They had a birthday, they keep going to birthday parties to gym, Bombay gym. The Bombay gym has a rule that maids cannot come. My niece is very appalled by that. So she doesn't like the maid to go and drop the children. So one of the family members drop the kids at the party and one of us picks them up. That's how it works. So in one of these parties, I was at work and I got a call saying the children are there, will you pick them up? So I went by the back door. And I was waiting there. I was in a salwar kameez. I do not use cosmetics. And I was standing on the side. Nobody spoke to me. And, I f and strangely enough, I didn't care because I was with the children and I was watching Kung Fu Panda along with them. Then a lady came to me and said, Aapko andar kaise choda? <laughs> so I said, in this Bombay, South Bombay accent, Amdar kaise choda? So I said, so I thought, I thought, oh, okay, this lady's got, I said, madam, I acha baat karti hai, is liye choda. <laughs> so, so, by the children in the room, who were, I was with, they recognized who I was faster, because they were seeing with their hearts. So, some of the children came to me and said, what did she say? I said, she said nothing. And I said, you finished Kung Fu Panda, but that little girl, my grand niece, was upset. She says, why did she speak to you in Hindi? I said, what is wrong about speaking in Hindi, Shoka? It's a national language. So she said, I said, finish Panda and we'll go. A few minutes later, that lady's husband came. I'm telling you a reverse stereotype. The guy came to me, spoke to me in English, and said, ma'am, you've been standing here with the children. Would you like a cup of tea? So the point is, we all, we are so uh, ingrained in this Thing of we are, we are indoctrinated. We go through an English education, so we keep looking west. If you look at the statistics in the west on the subject of women, it is even more appalling than it is here. So we should take things that are good. We should be conscious of what we are doing. I am not even propagating that you should wear a sari every day. No such thing, but be conscious. There are, feel for the other person. There are different people in this earth and it's our job to make sure that we uh, communicate to the right person in the right way. And you have to do it with heart. Let us desist. Now this, let us desist from exploiting this subject for commercial gain and fame. So I disagree that you should have a uh, award or whatever it is for this subject. It is so sensitive. Why would you need to do that? If you are half the people will be are inconsistent. And one level because it's it's a national subject and we can exploit it for commercial gain or fame. You will take it. Look at the rest of the brands the ad agency is working on and you will find that women have been used in some stereotype or the other. I don't think anybody can say that they keep their hand on their heart and say they didn't do this. So I'm not, I'm saying, I'm not for all of this. This is too serious a subject. We should not be doing this, any kind of awards on this. And let's not use, use women where it's inappropriate. Eh? That cement they're talking about. Uh, this a cement brand and from the water a lady comes out in a bikini. I mean, <laughs> give me a break. So that, at least we all find it funny. But the fact is, if, if you are a uh, relative unpad and you've come back and you're looking at all these images, it's titillating. You will go to whoever is, you will 
act, there will be an act of violence with whomever you can access here. So you have to be conscious of this. And it's no use saying that you have a right. It's not. You have the wrong of it. That's all I can say. Let's break stereotypes at every possible opportunity. Woman comes, she's always serving food. Are you let her do maths, no? Let her do the Rubik's Cube. When her husband is dumb, let, him, let her show him a solution, no? Why do we, why should it be that the woman is always doing the homemaker? Having said that, there's nothing wrong in doing homemakers. That's, it can be done in a positive way. I went for a, in a women's forum where we were supposed to be speaking about just issues that women face in a work environment. And it was not about sexual harassment, okay? It was about how did you make it? Every single woman, and these were senior people from the industry, spent the entire time explaining how great they were because they fought through this difficult thing where all the guys were really persecuting them. Come on, yeah, we are on an upper income group. No guys persecuting us. There is some degree of, uh, you know, uh, gender issues in our offices and there, it is true that they're a little patriarchal. But, you know, where we are all struggling and making it to the top because it was so difficult. I am not buying that, okay? And let's push boundaries, you know? It's difficult, you know, when we are showing an ad advertising and in a single image, you have to show that a, what is the target audience? So it's very difficult. You want to show a housewife, what shall we make that lady wear? It's a big issue. Again, then you say, SCC, A1, is she supposed to be only wearing jeans and kurti? Why can't she be? So it gets even more confusing. But we can push the boundaries, but let's not be insensitive about it. Let's show positive examples. I have a, actually a study done by a gentleman by the name Christopher Ferguson. He's from uh, one of the universities in America. He has said that this subject, the more and more positive examples you show, the self-esteem in women increases and guys, their, their whole, uh, they also feel good about the whole thing. It's not that guys are all the time wanting to look at women as sexual objects. That's equally wrong. Let's show men taking pride in the success of their wives. A lot of the issues happen because women have come into the workforce and we've started, you know, challenging. This, this is also a result of a lot of change that's happening in our society. We started challenging stereotypes. So guys don't know how to deal with it. So let's show them, apne advert me, sir, guy is proud of the lady who has performed well, wherever she is, whether at home or at work. It'll, it'll show that the guys are secure with it. That's important to show that. Let us show bullying men as those lacking courage and intelligence. I, I liked that ad, I think it was the Airtel ad, in which there was a bunch of jokers uh, bullying somebody. <laughs> I can't really see. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> bullying somebody and the, all the guys in the canteen start playing the tune. So I thought that was good. We need to do more of stuff like this within the bounds of meeting our goal of pushing products. Where appropriate, use the attraction between the genders. It's beautifully done in some of the Cadbury's commercials. Do it with affection for the woman. Don't do it with lust. Because this, the fact is that we also can't live, out, we live without the guys and the guys can't live without us. So let's deal with it in a more sensitive way. This is a subject I think needs to be done with extreme sensitivity. It's, we are still dealing with it with a straightforwardness, I believe, which is okay for us because we accept that a woman is going to get her period and we have to do, this is a, it's a normal thing. But I have found such crude and crass descriptions of things uh, from people, from guys around that it has really shocked me that people can even think like this. You see a picture of film posters in the, in the other station and somebody has taken sanitary napkins, uh, stickers and pasted it on the woman's crotch on a lady who's standing there in a sari. So this is a subject I believe which requires, I have no solutions, but I think it requires some sensitivity. Similarly with the lingerie. Let us do something which is not for profit or rewards. Let's push the law enforcers to enforce law. There's enough laws in this country, so we can do campaigns for them to enforce law. Let's put, ask for women-related cases to be put on a fast track. Let's get the police to indeed police. Again, let's do it, do it through campaigns. Let's get the government to govern. Let's make parents conscious that children can read anything and everything on the net and apply regulations to its use Especially, so you do need censorship, ma'am. I believe you need censorship at home, 
Otherwise, children access porno and all. It's scary. It's very important. Get law enforcement agencies to bring stringent laws making internet portals and violent game sites responsible to regulate their control. So we need some tight rules here. Uh -oh. And finally, let us act now. Let's stop talking. Let's just do. Or let's face the consequences of Mother Nature. I have put the violent Durga there. I'm saying let, if we continue as we do with 906 to every 1,000, it'll go to 800, 500, 600. I don't know where it's going to end. China now has a problem of 40 to 50 million guys. I think it's even more than that who have, cannot, have, cannot get a wife or a girlfriend or anything simply because of their one-child policy where they killed girls for 30, 40 years. If that happens, then it's wonderful, it's nash. They'll fight over each other and that would literally bring the balance back, which is what we don't need for our country. Thank you.